Well, 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 we are back up in the house. Real Housewives of Potomac. Y'all, we got a lot to talk about. We definitely do. Uh, this is going to be another packed, crazy season of Potomac. Um, I will say one thing. Um, you girls are never going to beat those colorism rumors. <laughs> It is never, out, whether Candace and Wendy and whoever else they get um, continues to participate on the show and with and be around y'all and, and cordial and or nice or y'all actual friends or whatever situation it is, um, whether the darker skinned people on the cast are mingling with the lighter skinned people on the cast. And then no matter the friend dynamic, whether they're actually friends or whatever the situation is, at the end of the day, y'all are never going to beat these rumors because y'all continue to do stuff. Y'all meaning Ashley, Giselle, like it's just it's just embedded. It's just you don't even realize you're doing stuff. That's the crazy thing. You don't even realize what be happening because it's just something that just just so used to it's just your life it's just the way of the world um and and so yeah let's get into it listen i had a review last week um because when i got around to doing last week's review it was time for this episode so i was just like well let me just lump both of them together y'all know when i do that i just um talk about each person and whatever's going on and Versus going scene by scene. Um, let's just start with Ashley. Seaside at the seashore, whatever it's called. Her um, new house. It's a beautiful house um, that she got with Michael. And she loves to say that her name is on the deed of the house. And she's the only name that's on the deed of the home. Even though she used the home. Even though she used uh, Michael's money to purchase the house. Michael has a key. They are still going on trips together. And ain't nobody talking about getting no divorce. So, I mean. <laughs> it was really, uh, what's the most sad in this situation is that Ashley has nothing out without Michael, which is really, really unfortunate. I don't know. Ashley has been on the show since the beginning. I don't know what all she done did with her Potomac checks. I'm sure it's not. Um, it's a lot of money they get paid, I'm sure. But I'm sure. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just don't understand. Where is the money, Ashley? Like, I, I know the restaurant where Michael went downhill and all this. I don't know. What you doing like Erica Jane? I think Erica Jane was giving her ex-husband all her housewives checks. Or it was some housewives show. I can't um I can't think of of which one it was. But it was a housewives show, a housewives franchise. Um I can't remember what housewife said that at, at the reunion. I think it was Erica Jane. I think so she used to just give him all her money or something. Was it Erica Jane? I can't remember. But anyway, um, but yeah, I just don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. And um, I understand you used to live in a certain lifestyle and all that, but what is it worth? Ashley, if, if you're really done with this person, then be done with them. Why are you getting homes and stuff with him? It's just crazy. It's crazy and ridiculous. She's still in love with that man. Um, so yeah, and then for Ashley, for you to be starting stuff on the show with this, between the two Nigerians, Neka didn't even really say nothing bad about um, the new girl Neka. Didn't even she's brought onto the show by Ashley. I don't trust any person that Ashley brings on outside of Candace. Candace was the best part of the show, and then Ashley ended up turning on Candace. But um, Ashley brought Candace onto the show, and she has been one of the best additions to the show. Um, but other uh, since Candace, I don't trust anybody who Ashley brought brings on as a friend to the show. They keep trying to make that that Deborah thing work. We don't we don't like her. Like, please let it go. She make up lies. She's 
annoying. She's funny looking. Just please, please. But they keep trying to make her happen. I'm like, okay. Um, but yeah, Ashley's trying to start stuff between the two Nigerians, NECA and, and Dr. Wendy. Uh, Ashley, she was talking to NECA about Dr. Wendy because um, she thought that they may know each other. NECA said that, you know, I kind of know her somewhat through whatever. And then Ashley, being messy, brought up um, Osu, Isu, I believe I'm pronouncing it right, which is basically like a curse saying that you or your family is a curse um, in, in the um, Nigerian culture, like ancient history stuff. Um, and uh, y'all know those articles was brought up about Dr. Wendy years ago saying that she was that or whatever. And so now all of a sudden we're resurfacing this old ass thing that they trying to um, talk about as it, as it pertains to Wendy. And um, Neka was just talking in general about it. She was just giving Ashley a definition of it. Ashley done flipped that and told Dr. Wendy that Neka, Neka was talking crap about her and stuff. And, and I'm just like, oh. It's just it's a girl. Anyway, and also uh, Michael is still suing Candace for the things that she said last season about Michael allegedly being with the guy and messing with the guy and all that kind of stuff. Ashley, oh, I don't have anything to do with that. That's between them. I don't know anything about that. I'm like, girl, she just, oh, God. It's like on a meter of 100% in terms of how much I like Ashley. Uh, I like her maybe 25, but the rest is just dislike because she constantly, it's like she'll, she'll do the right thing in one instance, but then she's still mixed up with all the drama and started most of the drama and with Giselle them and stuff. So it's just like, I, I could never fully ever call her a friend. Dr. Wendy, you better run, sis. You better run when it comes to her. Um, NECA. Let's get on to NECA. Um, she looks like Dr. Wendy and Deborah Cox mixed together. Nobody's supposed to be here, but she's here. Um, she's a lawyer. She's from Nigeria. Um, she has a husband who kind of favors Dr. Eddie a little bit when he smiles. Um, you know, I see what the girls are doing. NECA is, is the little example that they got. She's already doing TikTok videos, dancing offbeat with the rest of them, meaning Giselle, Ashley, Robin, look ridiculous. Um, I thought she was going to be the one to give them a little rhythm, but no. Um, and, you know, she's going to be the person they use to try to get Wendy off the show. Or, you know, she's going to be the person that they use to prove that they're not colorist. And stuff, and uh, I mean, we we already know what it's gonna give. You know, they're gonna be sitting back and instigating the whole thing while Neca and Wendy are going back and forth. Um, but I don't know. Uh, Neca, she seems cool, but she's you know pretentious and all that stuff, and way worse than what Wendy was. So I don't want to hear nothing about Wendy. I'm tired of her bringing up her degrees. I'm tired of her. Da -da 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 -da. NECA is giving you all that and more. This is not making me dislike her, but I'm just saying. She's giving a little bit more than what Wendy was giving. But, you know. We're going to see what it gives. Who else we got on the show? Candace. Candace is um doing her thing. She's in between labels. She's leaving one label and trying to shop around to go to the next later, a better label, better... Um, a better team, a stronger financial team in particular behind her music wise. And she's just doing her thing and um, living her life. And there you go. She's not fooling with Robin, really. She's not definitely not fooling with Giselle. She's definitely not fooling with um, Ashley. And so, yeah. Um, but we're going to see what it gives, child. Ashley, so far, Candace been minding her business, child. Yes. Um, let me see. Dr. Wendy. Dr. Wendy, um, she is creating a talk show. And um, she's working on that. Something she's wanted to do for a while. And she's shopping around different venues to get it started. Um, you know, mapping out how much everything is going to cost, etc. And, um, yeah. 
You know, a lot of people talking crap about Dr. Wendy about how she don't. She it's a new venture every season, and she's always doing something. I'm just like, I understand that um, on one hand, but it's also just like, well, what are you supposed to do? I mean, come on, she got to have something going on, and I think that these are things that Wendy always wanted to do, but just but didn't because of circumstances, because of her just wanting to focus on. Um, being a professor and getting her degrees, her just trying to make her mama proud and her, you know, being under a strict um, religion and, you know, in certain cultures, the only kind of job they value is, is jobs in the medical field or lawyers and, you know, the jobs that we all know of where you're going to always have money. Or always be able to get a job, not anything artistic wise in the arts. Um, so good for her. I don't, I don't see a problem with it. Whether she starts something and it fails or whether she don't complete something and, and oh, we don't hear nothing about it. I don't care. Good for Wendy. Do your thing. She looks great. Um, she looks better and better every season. I tell you. Um, let me see. Let me see. Who else we got? We got Karen Chow. Um, Karen is working on her relationship with Mia. Um, trying to. Um, we don't know what she's doing business wise. We haven't heard nothing from Ladam yet, but uh, maybe she'll talk about something. But you know, Mia was, um, you know, kind of in the midst of in, enjoying the rumors about Karen allegedly sleeping with people, you know, vigorously uh, back in the day um, through Sh Sharice. In her commentary. Um, and so um, Karen's mad at Mia for that. Karen is only into handshakes when it comes to Mia. Mia just wants her to let it go and, and just forgive her. And I mean, Karen's not ready to do that. So we're going to see where their little um, friendship goes, child. It goes down the drain, I'll tell you. Uh, let me see. Mia. Y'all know they done been let go from their company. Um, Gordon's brothers got rid of him as a CEO with no explanation. Gordon was going through a depression, dealing with a lot. Mia was ready to jump ship then. They had to downsize and move into another place. So Mia's just beside herself. She just don't know what to do and really trying to get her life together at this point. Um, you know, we all know why she got with Gordon. We all know why Gordon got with her. It's no secret. Um, and, and so now the gig is up and real life is starting because the money is drying up and, and she ready to go. And, you know, so we're going to see the, the, the demise of their um, relationship as the season go on, which is going to be interesting, um, to say the least. Um, I'm telling you, God don't like ugly Mia and, and the things that you did to Dr. Wendy, is just, um, really a lot. She, when she had that conversation with Karen she had mentioned, oh, well, she says that she's um, no longer drinking alcohol. And she said that she thinks that she alluded to the fact that maybe a reason why she was so off the chain that night is because she mixed pills with alcohol. I accidentally did that myself one time. I was having a major, um, my teeth was hurting really, really bad. And I had ended up going on a trip with a friend. And um, my teeth was just... I could barely chew. It was hurting the whole time. I said, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. My teeth didn't start hurting until I, you know, we had already planned everything out. And I was just like, well, I'm just not not going to go, you know. Um, and so we ended up going. But, um, yeah, it was rough. It was a rough weekend. Um, but anyway, I ended up taking some ibuprofen. And um, I did not wait long enough before I had started um, drinking because we ended up going out and I didn't even realize it, child. I was stone-faced the whole time. The whole time. Shouts out to um, Sheldon and um, Shaheem. But, um, child, I, I was lit the whole time and not in a good way. I was stone-faced just the whole time. So, Mia... Um, I don't know. Maybe it was different stuff that you was on. But, um, yeah, when you hide and, and stuff, you don't act the way that you did. But I mean, whatever. 
Whatever you got to say to make yourself feel better, girl. It's fine. Uh, but, you know, believe it or not, Mia's actually, she's more likable still than Giselle and Robin. She's, there's something likable and, and uh, charming about Mia, even, even though she is um, Mia. Um, let me see. Sharice is back. Whatever, it is what it is. There's no need to harp and, and be upset about Sharice being back. She's here, and that's just what it is. Um, let me see. Uh, who else did I talk about? Da -da -da -da. Robin, Robin, Robin. Sad, sad, sad. It's unfortunate. <sighs> you know, I would feel more bad for Robin if she did not handle last season the way that she did and the way that she treated Wendy, the way that she treated Candace, um, the way that she was just awful the whole season and acted a fool. Um, meanwhile, it's, it's her marriage project projecting. It was her marriage. It was the one that was actually falling apart and the fool. But it's been the fool since she came on TV eight years ago. So I don't know. There was a post on Twitter where somebody said they cannot believe that Robin is still on the show. They don't understand how somebody has had the exact same storyline. And to be honest, it's not brought nothing to the show since the very beginning. Yet she is still on there. It is amazing. It's a track record, honestly. If Robin didn't get fired last season, I don't know what it's going to take for her to actually get fired. I don't know. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it was craziness. Let me see. Anything else? Who else on the show? I think that's all the ladies. Um, oh, Giselle and this fake storyline with this little boy, her nephew. We don't care. We don't buy it. It's a Bravo celebrity relationship. Um, Giselle, you're not that popping and popular enough for the young kids on the summer and winter house to care. Um, and um, as far as with old boy, I think his name is Jason. We don't even know him. At least I don't. I don't watch the summer, winter, fall, spring house. I don't watch that. Um, I'm sure he's popular, but I just, I just don't know him. Um, yeah, he, he's only 36. Giselle is 56, I think. I don't know. She's at least, she's up there near, near Karen. Um, yeah, it's fake and phony and we don't buy it. There's no chemistry between y'all. She's flirting and just looking like an auntie and it was just inappropriate. Um, I wanted to call the authorities, but, um. I don't really know what I can say. This is lady on TV is is throwing herself, you know, being desperate. I don't really know what what the how that would hold up in court, but um yeah. So it, it's the fool. We don't buy it and we don't care. Um, Ashley had a um had a party for her new home that she that's with Michael, but you know her name is on the deed. And um, everybody congratulating her. Like I said, congratulations to her, I guess. It's a beautiful home, but it's Michael's home, too. His money funded most of it, so it's his house, too. I don't care what he say. I don't care if your name is the only one on the deed. That's still the father of your kids. He don't stay that too far away, and he got a key. So what makes you think you're going to have a man up and through there like that? Well, Michael just stop it over and win it whenever he wants to. Ball some sugar. I don't know. <clears throat> But it works for them, right? Excuse me. Um, you know, Wendy arrived a little late. Giselle stepped off to the side so that she wouldn't uh, be near Wendy. And it's amazing to me how nasty Giselle is to Wendy. And you still mad because that lady read you after you started some mess with her first. Y'all are crazy and insane. Y'all do stuff to people. And then, and then when you're in the wrong, expect for people to get over it. But when somebody does something wrong to you, you never get over it. You know, unless they look like you, right? Because when Giselle came at Mia last season, cancer, no cancer. She heard up and apologized to Mia because she needed allies and she knew that she needed a crash test dummy, which is Mia. 
to go against Wendy and create that whole thing that they did behind the scenes. And it worked. Mia fell for it. You know. So I don't know. Um, but I don't think Mia's going to be that way this season, it seems. Mia got more problems than one child. Mia. Child, Mia I told Mia, um, I texted her and told her my job hiring, you know, for the holidays. So I might see Mia um, at a job near you, child. I might, Mia might be working at my job, child. I'm like, hey, me. I'll take a picture with y'all if she end up in my job. But um, take a picture with her and post it. But um, y'all, that's it. That's the Potomac ladies. Um, it was a pretty good first two episodes, child. The first episode was heavily Robin and Warren related. I don't care. I don't care. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. I pray to God that nobody ends up in this situation or me ends up in this situation where my self-esteem is that low and that my self-worth is that bad. To the point where I'm just willing to put up with anything. Because that, that girl is... Bless her heart. She think that Juan is the only man in the world. And it's, it's sad. He snap her up. You can't say nothing to him. He got that little slick anger thing. You know, she look like she be scared to say stuff to him. She believe all his stories. It's the fool. It's the fool. Um... And I don't really think that she believe Juan. She just think it ain't no better. I'm just going to stick it out with them for the kids. I don't know why people do that. You're you going to die one day. And then what? Like, when your kids grow up and become their own people and, and get in their own relationships, then what? You don't waste it, what, 20 plus years on a person that you don't even like for real? That you've been fell out of love with and vice versa? But y'all just sticking it out for the kids? Faking it the whole time, pretending to be in love, or y'all can't stand each other. Y'all don't think the kids know that? Why y'all think kids stupid? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm a good off here, child. Plenty more reviews to go. With that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Skins on Instagram and Twitter. At Skins on 89 on Snapchat. Chess King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App. And PayPal, and as always, run me my money, or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.